Okay, uh, a car moves with the velocity of 2 meters per second, collides with another car which has the okay, which, which has the same mass as shown in figure 3.4. The second car is initially at rest. After the collision, both cars move at 60 degree and 40 degree from the horizontal. Calculate the final velocity of each car after the collision. Assume the collision is elastic. Okay, good. Here you can see one keyword here is say elastic collision. Okay. And then another thing we see from here is uh, they have the same mass. Okay. So we put this as uh, mass M, mass M. Okay. Uh, mass 1 is M. Uh, mass 2, mass 2 is also M. Uh, right here, this diagram is not so uh, accurate, but we can see this definitely is 60 degree and this is uh, 40 degree, yeah, smaller angle. Uh, another thing is uh, which one should be, which, uh, which, which mass should be 60 degree, which mass should be 40 degree? Look at the sequence, yeah. Uh, th this sequence, uh, a car move with this velocity 2 meter per second, this one should be the A, okay, this one should be the car A. And the one, uh, the second car at rest, yeah, this one should be the B, yeah, not moving. So, the sequence is 60 degree first and then 40 degree. So, wait, we can say this 60 degree refer to the car A. Uh, 40 degree refer to car B. Okay, very simple. So, now we, right, uh, right now we need to find the final velocity. Uh, final velocity of each car. That means... We need to know the V, uh, we treat this uh, A as number 1, B as number 2, okay. So, uh, this is V1, this should be V2. Uh, so, we need to find what is V1 and what is uh, V2. We need to find them, okay. So, uh, talking about velocity, again, velocity is a, a vector, okay. So, when talking about vector, you need to give both uh, magnitude and direction, uh, but this one already have direction already yeah uh, 60 degree and 40 degree uh, 60 degree above the x-axis 40 degree below the x-axis this one the angle already consider the direction so uh, seems like we need to find the magnitude only okay so how to do this question so as we can see here this he said that il the collision is elastic elastic means um, you can use two formula Okay, look at uh, elastic collision. Elastic collision, you can use conservation of momentum. Conservation of momentum and also conservation of kinetic energy. So, these two formula we're going to use. So, uh, okay, momentum and kinetic energy. So, we start off with um, momentum. Okay, conservation of momentum. Seems like we have uh, two, di two, uh, two components. So, we need, to, um, we need to do by components, yeah? Uh, because we have two dimensions, sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, hold on a second, yeah. Need to start it off. Okay, uh, let's continue again. So, uh, let's try the questions, yeah. So, we need to do by components, yeah. So, uh, right. So, okay. Now, uh, we start off with doing uh, x component and also y component. Okay, so we do the conservation momentum. Okay, moment. Uh, mo this is about conservation of momentum. Momentum we need to resolve. Yeah, momentum we need to resolve into uh, two components. We need to resolve into two components. Uh, but if kinetic energy, no need to resolve. Okay. <laughs> Now, uh, the formula should be m1 u1 plus m2 u2 uh, equal to m1 v1 plus m2, sorry, m2 v2. Okay, uh, so we copy the same thing for uh, y components. Okay, so uh, this one is, uh, this one all is x component. Okay. <laughs> Right, all these are x. Um, sorry, this one. Um, yeah. And then, uh, this one all should be the y component. You should uh, label them. Uh, label them. Uh, the subscript. Okay. And then, uh, seems that they have the same mass, isn't it? Same mass. So, uh, the all the masses can be uh, 
cut off yeah? because we know that um, because m1 is equal to m2 which is m all right so uh, right now we can uh, divide by m so all the mass disappear okay because because they have the same mass okay uh, now look at x component s component okay this is a uh, before collision remember uh, again the same thing this is before collision and this is after okay uh, the same goes to the y component yeah uh, this is the uh, okay so the same thing goes to uh, the y component we have before and after okay look at look at x component so which one is before collision Okay, so I just want to write it here. Uh, this is before collision and this is after collision. Uh, okay, so please be careful. Now, uh, before collision. Before collision, uh, look at the X component. So, uh, A has X component. Uh, this velocity is totally in X component and it is to the right. To the right, so it's a positive value. Okay. So, uh, this velocity is totally in x component, okay, uh, 2. So, that is uh, u1x. So, just write it down, uh, 2, okay. Uh, mass is already equal to 1, okay, because we cut it off already. And then, uh, plus uh, u2x, u2x uh, is stationary, right? Now, this one is not moving. Uh, we can say this ub is 0. Yeah, UB is 0, uh, which is U2 lah. Okay, so it is 0. Uh, right. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, hold on a second. Okay, so our U2X is 0 because stationary. Now, look at the after collision. So, after collision, uh, look at the uh, mass 1. Okay, uh, this uh, again, I will just want to write it down here. Uh, this is for mass 1. Uh, this is for mass 2. Okay. So the mass one, okay. Look only look at the x component. So again, we have uh, two components. We have the, you know, this one. It has a uh, x component and y component. Okay. Uh, so for the x component, it is uh, positive. For the y component, going up also positive. Yeah. Uh, but for the v two, okay. For the v two, uh, it has uh, also two component. Uh, this is the x component for v two. And this is the y component. So, uh, but for V2, uh, going to the right is uh, positive. Okay, going to the right is positive. But the y component is going downward. It should be negative. Uh, don't forget to put the negative sign. Don't forget to put the negative sign when going downward. Okay? Uh, uh, so, another thing. Uh, I saw another question. Uh, uh, that you have uh, like this one. You have V1 like this. Okay, and then another ball going this way, isn't it? V2. Uh, this one is, uh, uh, you, know, you should know. Okay, uh, so first of, first of all, I draw the, uh, the axis. Yeah, I draw the axis. Okay, I just want to tell you this also. So for this one, uh, for the X component, uh, like for the V1, uh, X component, it should be, uh, you should put, uh, okay, it has the X component and Y component. Okay, one thing you should know is, um, for, for this ball, uh, going to the left, you should put negative. Uh, negative. And going upward is positive. Okay? And then for V2, uh, V2 um, also has two components. Uh, so, uh, this one is going to the right. The, the going to the right is positive. Going downward is negative. Ah, this is the way you do it. Okay? So, as long as going to the right, going upward, you should put positive. Going to the left, going downward, you should put negative. Uh, that is one example questions yeah uh, I saw in somewhere uh, in the tutorial books yeah uh, uh, I think the last questions I think uh, so please uh, be be careful so for this one okay remember this one uh, going to the right positive going uh, upward positive going to the right positive going downward negative uh, you should put a negative sign there uh, that's for y component okay look going back to the x component here so uh, okay uh, we are at uh, we are at here mass 1 okay so mass 1 uh, look at the v1x so only the v1x v1 x component uh, it is positive so positive and then we use cosine 60 because um, yeah 
because adjacent to the angle yeah x component is adjacent to the angle so you cosine 60 so uh, it is a v1 cosine 60 and it's positive also okay so it's a positive uh, positive v1 uh, cosine 60 okay and then for the uh, for the v2x v2x it is uh, also going to the right is positive uh, is positive uh, v2 uh, it is also adjacent to the angle 40 degree so we use uh, v2 uh, cosine uh, v2 cosine 40 okay v2 cosine 40 Ah, so we got uh, one equation for x component now we need another equation for y components yeah y components so how to do it uh, okay um, they have the same mass oh okay so okay look at the uh, before collision okay y component before collision uh, no y component at all isn't it and the mass one no no y component mass two also no y component so we can say uh, zero uh, so we can say zero before that yeah zero equal to okay that means uh, I can say like that uh, uh, so zero for u one y zero also for u two y right now uh, look at the after collision after collision we have going up and going down. Okay, going up is um, you know uh, it is uh, positive and then it is uh, op opposite to the angle so it's a uh, sine 60 sine 60 but it's a v1 sine 60 yeah positive v1 sine 60 positive v1 uh, sine 60 okay and then uh, we have uh, this one also uh, going downward uh, this one is uh, opposite also so it is a uh, v2 okay it is a uh, sorry it is a uh, v2 and uh, negative 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 v2 uh, is opposite to the angle also yeah negative v2 sine 40 negative uh, uh, oh don't forget the negative sign i uh, don't know forget the negative sign we have a negative negative uh, v2 uh, sine 40 negative v2 uh, sine 40 okay Ah, so we got already. Uh, seems that all we uh two these two equation also enough to solve to get the two unknowns v one and v two. We already can get the answer v one v two, uh, by using this equation only. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, what do we do now is uh, uh okay, we represent um v two in terms of v one. Yeah. So this v two, sorry, uh. This is a uh, this one just transfer to the other side, so we get a uh, v two uh, sine forty and then uh, v one sine sixty. Uh, v two is uh, in terms of v one is um, this one. Okay, uh, we got it. So now we can substitute this equation. Okay, we put this as equation. Uh, this one is equation one. This is equation two. Uh, we substitute equation two equal to equation one. Okay, uh, so we can say two into one. Uh, so we get what? Uh, we get um, okay, two equal to uh, v one cos sixty, and then plus uh, v two now is uh, v one sine sixty divided by sine forty. Ah, uh, and then cos forty, yeah. Uh, cos forty, and then uh, what else? Uh, ah, factorize out the v one, and then we can get the answer of v one. Ah, uh, so uh, I got v one as a uh, one point three zero five uh three. I think just put uh three uh one yeah three one uh. Or three decimal place, okay. Now it's zero point three zero five. Ah, that's the answer. So meter per second, okay. Ah, that's the answer. So now I can find the V two also. Just a still. So V two, I get um, uh, sorry, one point three zero five. Uh, sine sixty. Uh, divide by sine forty. So now uh, what's the answer? Okay, let's calculate. Okay, so I got V2 as uh, 
1.758 okay so 1.758 meter per second ah so that's the answer okay um uh, this is the uh, va this is this is va and this is a uh, vb okay is that correct 1.305 yes correct uh 1.758 also correct okay uh, anyway we got the objective ready uh, but I would just want to tell you that uh, I just uh, curious why he asked why he say this collision is elastic because definitely um, we can use another formula which is uh, the kinetic energy formula yeah because elastic collision the kinetic energy is conserved so we can use another formula for kinetic energy uh, so we can use uh, another formula for kinetic energy uh, this one no need eh? because it's a scalar quantity so scalar quantity uh, kinetic energy is not a vector not a vector so no need no need to resolve no need to resolve uh, into components so we just use this one as whole so what i mean is um, uh, what i mean is uh, you can just use this uh, half uh, m1 uh, m1 u1 so you don't need to do something like oh x component uh, y component uh, you do nah, no no need yeah? uh, no need instead we just do as a whole for kinetic energy as a scalar we uh, no need to resolve uh? no need to resolve although although it is it is a two dimension uh, motion although it's a two dimension motion uh, you no need to resolve into x and y okay we do it as a whole uh, we do it as a whole so we just put a uh, total kinetic energy initial is equal to total kinetic energy final okay no need to do x and y component uh, because it's a scalar quantity we cannot resolve we cannot resolve the kinetic energy we so we just put half m1 u1 square plus uh, half m2 u2 square equal to half m1 v1 square plus half m2 v2 square so um uh, this one we just okay and then another thing is um because they have the same mass isn't it because we know that mass one equal to mass two equal to m uh, so we actually can cancel off the mass here half also is a uh, half also is a cons uh is a common terms uh, cancel off so uh, we have a uh, u1 uh, u2 uh, u1 u2 what is a u1 and u2 oh u2 is zero okay u2 is zero because it's stationary only the u1 has yeah, speed u1 is a uh, uh, u1 is a um, you know two uh, u1 is two uh, two square uh, so co uh, continue we have a v1 and then v2 uh, so from here this equation so this is four equal to v1 square plus v2 square uh, this one also another formula that we can find v1 and v2 can we can uh simultaneous so we have three equations to do for us to do simultaneous actually for this equation questions yeah we have uh you see we have a uh, equation which equation we have we have um, uh, this equation you see we have uh, this equation one equation two and equation uh, three uh, this is our equation three okay from the kinetic energy uh, from kinetic energy which also we can find you see uh, we have v1 and v2 we want to find yeah, v1 and v2 uh, this one also we can find v1 and v2 just that we have square lah. we have square uh, so we can find v1 v2 from here also okay out of these three uh three uh three formula we built uh okay so that's for elastic collision that's for elastic collision we can build this so for inelastic cannot uh, if if this is a uh, inelastic or he didn't mention what kind of collision uh, we don't know it is elastic or inelastic we're not sure we uh, we cannot uh, we cannot use the kinetic energy okay because we know that uh, uh, kinetic energy only conserved for elastic for inelastic kinetic energy is not conserved okay so that's all for these questions all right thank you